Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the fourth episode of TF2 Extract where I catch you guys up on the latest news in the TF2 community. It's been some time since my last entry, but I can assure you, this summer has been quite eventful with various things like the recent Super Summer Stream with all sorts of TF2 Ubers and such. Due to someone's sudden trip to the desert, I don't know, I assume the responsibility of blah 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 made a few sick graphics here and there, met some cool people, and even got to lose in a comp game on a stream of 500 plus viewers. Also, we raised $1,400. Unfortunately, I was unable to donate the 5 whole cents I made off the stream promo video I made. However, I'll be making up for that with one of the biggest T2 charities of the year around the corner. If you haven't guessed it, I'm referring to Tip of the Hats 2016. Without further ado, let's get into detail. First on our list is the annual Tip of the Hats charity event. Tip of the Hats, or T-O-T-H for short. Like I said before, it's one of the biggest fundraising groups within the TF2 community that hold events like jump map races, MG tournaments, surfing, pub games, and more. The purpose of the charity is to help fund camps and educational programs to help the lives of children afflicted with cancer. This fundraiser will help support them and allow them to connect with others also affected by cancer and allow a smooth, transi smooth transition back to a normal life. Various members of the community will be there to support the event, such as Tag, Crocodile, Uber Chain, Sideshow, and Mr. Slim. The event will span over three days from September 16th to 18th from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time. But you are actually able to contribute to the do donations now if you like. Cash donations open on September 9th, so in the meantime, they will take item donations and count certain ones as currency. Things like keys, buds, maxes, and australiums are such, some of such items that they take as cash. And apparently, you can get a cool in-game badge this year if you donate a minimum of $10. Now you can safely say you're contributing to a good cause by playing a game revolving, mm, revolving around hats. Wait, if this game revolves around hats, does that make the game an unusual effect? Speaking of unusuals, with the elusive new burning team captain, yes, a non-duped one which was in box just at the start of August. Seeing how it is the most popular and usual, as well as it being the most expensive, it's no wonder it's the topic on everyone's mind. And in this case, now on another's head, about it being unboxed. The unusual is worth a whopping 8,000 keys due to a sale a while back with Purplicious. The estimated cash value on it is essentially $16,000 and 500, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever, it's expensive which is enough to start considering a college fund, a car, a cult, or even donating, donating to cancer research. It's okay, what better way to not care about solving the world's problems than to wear the solution on your head? Well, that's another burning team captain in the mix from this very lucky unbox. It's sure to stir up the trading market yet again. Speaking of problems, a group of YouTubers and devs behind uh, Pastime are learn teaming up to host a Pastime tournament to save the very mode from meeting the same fate as manpower. What's manpower you ask? Congratulations, you found the problem. There's some cool meadows involved, so if shiny things are your thing, a link to the details are in the description. To get into more recent news, the ongoing Pyro v Heavy War is no longer ongoing. In fact, it just ended. Spoiler alert, the fat guy loses. So the big guy did not come up on top. However, Instead, our beloved forward plus attack win class is the winner of the event, leading at 56%. Among the official posts are a few interesting links, with one of them leading to the Pyro from PyroWithLove.com, a page put together by the community uh, competitive Pyro players detailing all issues with Pyro and how they think it can be fixed. This is a very exciting nod, as that means the TF2 team is reading up on community feedback for changes. Changes like fixing the flamethrower attack region and so and so on. On a simpler note, that also means the arsonist is getting some new weapons and cosmetics. How about that? Speaking of changes, out comes the solution to matchma matchmaking's most common issue: hackers. Uh, the August 16th update has issued its first competitive ban wave, preventing problem players from playing for a solid six months. Following that is an easier climb for lower ranks, being able to report players directly from the scoreboard, as well as the future ability to call for a rematch or requeue from the endgame screen. Some of the more small updates in the recent patch include 
the removal of the soldier and Dilma man wailing in pain after taking zero damage from their respective jumper weapons. Comp, uh, comp players with high win-loss ratios will climb faster in ranks. And now when you decide to 1v1 an enemy dispenser, you will see that correct damage numbers. And to end this off, various updates to the Metalworks map. So that just about wraps up this episode of TF2 Extract. But do not fret, there will be more down the road. And speaking of roads, if you're new to the channel or just flat or unaware, I've recently reached one year on YouTube. And to celebrate, I've thrown together a little giveaway with items like my main scattergun skin, four tour of duty tickets, and various craft hats crafted by yours truly. So if you're curious about what I do, or what I've done, or just want free hats like everyone else, the giveaway is in the description, as well as links to the TF2 update page, tip of the hats, as well as the pastime tournament. But if you like the video, click the majestic blue button, and if you think I'm funny or something, and want to see more, click the majestic red button. Lastly, if, if I even went as far as inspired you to leave a comment, leave a comment. I always read them. Enough chit chat. I've got enough scrubs to send back to spawn already in our favorite team-based shooter. And as always, this is Tobias, and I'll catch you guys later.